Oh, uh, right, so this is count the bonds. How many sigma and how many pi bonds do I have? So, um, let's do sigma first of all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, so the answer is D. Um, and there's my two pi, pi bonds there. Uh, remember, a double bond consists of a sigma bond and a pi bond. Right, so free radical substitution now. They want me to find a propagation step. Well, it's not that one because that is initiation. I'm making two radicals. For propagation, I must make a free radical at the end. Uh, so it can't be that one. So it's looking like it is either C or D. Um, it's chlorine reacting with one chloropropane. Um, so if this molecule, if you look at this one, if this radical comes in, it's either going to find a chlorine to form Cl2 or it's going to find a hydrogen to form HCl. It's not going to form an H radical. So the answer is D. Um, and obviously that's the one that looks familiar to you, the first propagation step. Um, chlor chlor chlorine free radical meets one chloropropane to give you HCl and an, uh, this free radical here which can then go on to react with chlorine. So the answer is D. Uh, so which alcohol can be oxidised by potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid form a ketone? Okay, so to form a ketone I must start with a secondary alcohol, mustn't I? So this one's primary, so no. This one's secondary, so that one will. That one's tertiary, so it won't react. And this one, of course, is primary um, here. So the answer is B. Okay, for this one, they want me to identify uh, the reaction mechanism. So for step one, I've got HBr added across a double bond. Um, so that, of course, is electrophilic addition. So it's either A or B. Um, for step two, I've got a hydroxyl ion replacing a bromide ion. So that is nucleophilic substitution. So the answer is B. Uh, so when heated with sodium hydroxide, one iodobutane is hydrolyzed much faster than one chlorobutane. Why is that? It's all to do with bond enthalpies. It's because the carbon iodine bond is much longer and much weaker uh, because the iodine atom is much bigger. And therefore, um, the answer is D. The C-I bond requires much less energy than the C-C-L bond. 